Hey guys, here's a video on NHL 14 already. Like, it's NHL 14. I, I feel really old. Um, by the way, during this video, sorry about the fan going in the background, but it's really hot here in Michigan, really. Uh, humid. So, if I didn't have this going, I just wouldn't make this video. And honestly, I think you guys want this information as quickly as possible, so deal with it. Um, so let's just get that out of the way. So you're going to hear that in the background, unfortunately. But... A lot of you guys are probably playing Be a Pro Online, Be a Pro Online, OTP, ESHL club games and stuff, and you're probably now thinking, oh, I'm going to unlock all this stuff and pay a bunch of money. Well, maybe you shouldn't do that, you know? Save some money. There's easier ways to do unlocking of most of these boosts that you're going to get. I, I'm, you know, it's crazy that how much people are just putting uh, more money into this game than they have to. Now, some are a little bit more difficult and that maybe you want to buy. Like, the speed ones are a little bit more difficult. Um, but let, let's just go over a couple really quickly here. So let's look at my center. And right now, I mean, you can see most of these are now unlocked, blah, blah. Um, but you'll notice that a couple, like this one, average a goal a game for one season playing at least 40 of those games. So that's a key uh, with your created be a pro skater. Uh, there's there's a boost slot three that most people are probably buying for some reason. Here's another one. Um, reach legend level. That's you're gonna do that anyways. But or get 200 hits and be a pro season with the created skater. So right there, there's two things you can get with your be a pro offline. Most of these you can actually do. A lot of them I, I unlocked just playing, but these are are just a few examples of what you can get. And within these, so look at this. Um, uh, plus minus of that. Now, oh. unlock your legend hockey card and be a pro or achieve a plus minus. Huh, interesting. So that one you might want to buy, depending on your plus minus and how many games you want to wait to get your, your speed. So, like, there's certain ones that are just kind of like, okay, um, get it. But look at this one. Speed plus five. A lot of people are probably buying it. Score three goals in a single NHL game with Create Be a Pro. I'm going to show you how to do this really easily. Same thing. Oh, this one's already unlocked. Plus seven. Um, now, I know that had something to do with my Be a Pro. I can tell you that. Um, that I just got, and I didn't mean to do that. Uh, agility. Or complete success. Uh, 70, get 70 points with your Be a Pro player in one season. Believe me, this is not that hard. Don't let these things... These numbers look really difficult because I'm going to show you a really, really, really easy way to get all these things unlocked um, and get them really quickly. Uh, there's a couple other ones. Let me look at my helmet. This will probably be easier. Um, get three points per game in four consecutive NHL games and be a pro. So there's a lot of these things that just offline be a pro that you can get really easily. If you're not thinking it, you're like, oh, that just seems like a big pain in the ass. Well, I'm going to try and make it less of a big pain in the ass. There's a new feature in NHL 14 called Live the Life. So if you click on Live the Life, you can click a new pro, and there's this thing called Live the Life, and it's funny that I click Live the Life, I have to click it again. As I said, menus, horrible. So click Live the Life again, and there's three options. Start in the NHL, NHL Entry Draft, don't do that, and start in the CHL, don't do that either. Because everything as you saw had to do something with the NHL games nothing in the AHL or CHL is going to help you so click start in the NHL alright so this is going to show up <laughs> so I, I, my name Slim Shady just because I'm taking one of my uh, club mates off he doesn't like M&M uh, so I just use that all the time just to take him off so I'm going to select center two way forward doesn't matter pick your position I don't recommend defense uh, I, to do this so even if you're a defenseman in the club don't unlock, doesn't matter, just get this. This really doesn't even matter either. Um, you're going to easily get this. So here's where it starts becoming a little bit. Set this to Rookie, set this to Custom, and I'm going to show you the custom settings. Uh, set this to Authentic because it gives you that 20 minutes, and uh, I'll show you everything of how to make it go really quick. So go ahead and advance through that. So in here, just spend it how you want. I do recommend getting your wrist shot accuracy up. Uh, in this mode Oops. and also make sure you can place your boost in here so let me do this really quickly I'm gonna cut this out so you're just gonna go get this out of the way so I'll, I'll start here if you're new to NHL 14 live the life as everybody is 
this is really stupid. The, these things, I have to admit, I thought it was going to be more like NBA, NBA, NHL. NBA 2K13, where it's more like press conferences, things like that. They were pretty cool. This is like, hey, select A or B. A being, haha, you're a cool person. B being, I don't want to be on this team anymore. So, they're very straightforward. I will try to cut out most of this stuff, but I just want to put this out there um, in case you want to know what you're going to be seeing during this mode, these stupid little things. Look at this. Uh, I guess it's like The Sims. If I get my family up all the way, I'll have a baby. I'm not sure if I see the sex part, but maybe there's like a hot coffee mod. But let's get through this really quickly. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so we're finally here. We're finally at the point where we're actually playing a game. Now, here, before you start, go into My Pro. So you just have to start My Pro. And you're going to go to Not Retire. We're going to go to Settings. Um, gameplay settings, and as you say, it's it says rookie and then custom. Now, what you're gonna do is use LB and RB to look through the other settings uh, in gameplay, and they might be already set. So, look at this; they're not set. So, watch this. Set the fatigue effect all the way down for human, all the way up for CPU. Fatigue recovery all the way up, down for CPU. Injury occurrence, no. Make sure they're both zero. Waste time, just, just believe me. Take, turn it off. Um, and what you're doing, as you can see, just knocking it up for the human or down, depending on the uh, option. Um, and you're setting it so that your your actual um, human, your your what team you're on, has a huge advantage. So just knock it all up. CPU penalties. Why not? CPU teammate penalties down. All right. Pass. Rookie is funny. Um, wow, I can't believe these are already set this high for rookie. And see, you just knocked this all up. All right, so all your settings are going to be set now. As I said, just go through them all. Just make sure humans all the way up and everything else is down uh, for the computer. So the, the preseason is don't skip over the preseason because they'll send you down. Um, hopefully they won't send me down in this video. Um, it's a possibility. Hopefully it's not. So what you do is click on the first preseason game. Click on sim game. All right. So it's going to start the sim. You can hit Y to sim the periods. So sim two periods. All right. And then now it says A for intervene. So go ahead and click that. Now that's going to take you right into the game. Blah, blah, blah. Click A. You saw all this shit. Um, I always set mine to manual. You could set whatever you wish. If you want the computer assist still, I can't stand it. So, up to you. Just make sure you set that before the game because I couldn't find it in the settings just really quickly on how to always set it to manual. So, uh, just make sure if you, depending on what you feel like, auto does work pretty well because the computer is so horrible in this mode that the auto actually lets you score a lot with the auto. Me personally, though, there's a lot of, I'll just say it, glitch goals that you can do. And, uh, yeah, let's just put it that way. So, now you're going to be seeing here, this is be a pro, this, as everybody probably knows. If not, you, this is the screen's going to pop up. There's two, three options, two options. I can count. Uh, text sim, sim to next shift, and close. Hit B, sim to next shift. You're going to be put on the ice right away after it simulates a little bit. And you're going to get a chance to, well, we're already up one, uh, to get on the ice right away here. So, now that you're out here, you know, Let's go ahead and score. As you can see, they're freaking horrible. And I hit the post. Um, but yeah. Alright, finally. My team kept taking penalties, so... Plus, I started eating chips. That's a bad sign. Probably that's to be on them. I don't care. We kept taking penalties, so it took me so long to get a damn goal. Because I'm on a penalty kill, and I was hitting the post. But finally, as, a, as always, when I'm recording... It's the worst. It's, everything just goes wrong. Uh, I don't know if there's a, something to it mentally, but yeah. So now I scored. I'm still on the ice, but uh, so you're gonna try and score. Just aim top shelf or middle. You know, go for the five hole, or just leave it on auto if you're not that great at scoring. I know what Robo say, but um, you'll get a lot of goals in this mode or pass it if you can't score too. Ah, I'm not playing too well. Come on, Franzen. Jeez. 
Also, check. <laughs> you can check uh, pretty easily in this game uh, because of the way the things are set. But yeah, that's... And then, you know, you could just keep simming, get your points really quickly. If the, the box doesn't show up, if you hit Y, the menu will show up that you can just sim to next shift. So there's another tip. But yeah, I'll try to cut ahead again. There you go, there's another one. <laughs> um, so you just try and get as many points, goals in these games as possible. Um, normally if you get three goals, you could stop you know, going for that. Uh, I try to stop at four points. In this game, I'm probably not going to get there. I have two goals, I'm definitely not going to get there. Um, sorry, I'm concentrating. So... <laughs> Yeah, just try and do as much as you can. As you can see, it's quite easy to score with the screen set all the way up. Um, so I think that makes four points. Let me check. Yeah, so there's four goals. So now, with this kind of setup, you now have enough to just keep simming. So even if I'm on the ice, watch this. Win the face off of your center. And just take yourself off the ice. Hit B. That goes for the line change. And then you can just keep simming until the end of the game. Now this one's going to be pretty quick because there's not much time left. But you'll see if I'm on the ice like I am right now. All I'm going to do is... What? That's weird. Um, anyways, just sim to the next one. Normally it doesn't do that. I don't know why I did that. Uh, so just keep simming right away and just uh, you'll get these games over really quickly. And what happens is even if you're only playing parts of the game... You're not, you're not playing the full game one. You're getting easy goals uh, really quickly and points, um, assist, anything. And you'll get your unlocks really quickly. However, this is the preseason. So you have to do this for most of the preseason to stay with the main team because if you're being put back into the AHL, none of those will count. So like here, I pretty much got everything. Now you won't get pucks, this is going to tell you. You won't get those pucks because you got to play the whole game. Um, but who cares? They're pucks. You can get those in club or OTP easily for your uh, putt ultimate team. The, the putt ultimate team. Hockey ultimate team. Um, all right, just just uh, getting this back on here for a second here. Uh, just to show exactly what to do here. So guys coming off, go right, hit, keep hitting B, go right back off. I already have four goals. I don't need any more. That's enough to keep going because that's everything matches. So again, even in the preseason or the regular in the regular season, once you make the team, just keep keep hitting B. Once you get your points, and the game is gonna go really quick for you.